perfect. That options. barely ever works. Yeah. See, there's an arrow that goes up sideways. Uh, Why can't yeah, no, there be? There is, yeah, but there's no down sideways. Yeah, what's up with that? I don't know. We, we got to get this fixed. I'm going to get on this. Well, what does it mean, up sideways? It Tell means me you're on the upward trend. You're like, you're doing okay, but not great? I mean... No, so you're, you're doing good. You're doing good, but not great? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, it's like, yeah, he's, he's getting better. But then look at SOS's arrow. And he's just going arrow. straight to the top. He's like on top of the top. SOS's top arrow stuff. looks like a mushroom. Does it? I, yeah. think, I think it looks like an arrow, man. <laughs> Okay, yeah, looks, looks like, like an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah. Wolf's like, oh, you got me. Well, I mean, it looks like it's mushroom shaped. <laughs> um, it nah, a dude. little bit, That's I guess. It's kind of like a triangle, man. <laughs> Normal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude. All right, let's do our our daily reading. Life is like a maze. Life, I'm just amazed when I'm flipping through the pages. Wow. I just have to read that poem every time this map comes That's up. Deep, man. It is. This map is made by Jackie Prime Man. All right, here we go. Protoss versus Protoss yet again on Maze. This is the SPL 2014 with Wolf, Brendan, and especially today, Moonblade. LTA-nen, SK Telecom. Up here in the top left in the orange for SK Telecom 2-1. He is classic. And up here in the top right in the green for Generic Green Wings, SOS. You know, in Australia, um, I've come to, to notice that there's a term that you guys use. Uh, it's, oh, yeah? it's sus, right? Like something is sus. Can you oh. explain what that means? I know what this means, but I'd like you to explain what it means. That <laughs> so something explain is Explain to sus. everybody out there because we don't get it as All right. Americans. All right. Well, sus, it kind of just means something looks shifty, you know, like suspect. So it's like, oh, I don't know. That, that guy looks a bit sus. Like he's looking a bit shady. And that's what you kind of say. Shady? Yeah. Sus. Yeah, like it's like suspect, suspicious. Suspicious. You know, it's like. Jenner is looking pretty sus this game. Now I mean, he's doing some sort of proxy. No, I was thinking. I was thinking. I'm looking at this and I see that SOS is just one letter off of sus. That's pretty sus. It if is. I, if <laughs> I, <laughs> that's actually pretty. If sus. I had to say, that's pretty sus, man. But, I, actually, I don't know about that idea. You know, he has played pretty sus in the past with his cannon rushes and whatnot. But yeah. You know, see, see, he's pretty sus. You might be on something. His actually. play in round one was very sus. Yeah. Oh five. All right. Yeah, a bit suspect. Sus. I, I agree with that. Okay, <laughs> sus. We'll, we'll stay with sus. We won't, we won't extend that. There are other things that Australians say. Keen? Yes. Keen. I'm so You mean keen. like MVP Keen or? No. Keen. Keen mate. Yeah, so, so, so explain what? to us what you mean. Like, you, what are you keen on? In you, well, anything. You can be keen on You're anything. You're keen on anything. So it's like, yes man right here. So it's like, let's have... Let's have dinner. I'm like, oh man, I'm keen. Like, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're keen, keen for that. You're keen for it. All right. You're, Wait, you're supposed this to be, is so confusing. I thought you were supposed to be keen on it, not keen for it. Like, you, keen I'm keen on, on that. Keen on, I'm keen uh, on, on getting a promotion. I don't think anyone's keen on that, but... Um, no? Because I mean, like, I'm keen on getting a promotion, dude. Yeah, what? Well, I don't I, know what I could get promoted to, like, Vice President Caster. Like. Vice Caster. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it can work either way. Keen keen on that, or keen as. Keen as is Keen as what? Use that in a sense. Yeah, yeah, but what does it mean when you put as at the end it's of the like, sentence? It's like, man, let's get, let's get a beer. I'm like, oh, man, I'm keen as. What? Yeah. Yeah, I just I don't understand this because because I thought actually when I saw this I, I, the first time when people were typing this to me I thought like somebody dropped the second S off of a profane term that I won't say on on <laughs> air. Well, I was, it was like oh uh, 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 you know hey, keen as keen as as as, as keen, what, what, keen, keen as, as comparing, keen, comparing keen as whatever you think is grand so like I'm so keen I'm keen as uh, keen as anyway. on whatever is what? Well, well, well okay, so sorry, wait let me let me let me try to see I'm if so I understand right because now. because if you are Say, say, um, you, you, uh, it's like you want to go to the beach and, uh, it's I'd like you want to go to the beach. I'd be keen as, as a professional surfer or something like that who would really like to go to the beach. You or gotta, you gotta as use your, a, you gotta use your imagination. Or you could just. So put, it's put, like it's silence or something? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you can, like, add something to it. It's like, like the last word is I'm silent. Keen, keen as, and usually it'd be some sort of vulgar thing at the end of that. Maybe. Ah, All right, ah. so let me make a current assessment of this game before we go more into the assessment of your Language. Your, my, your dialect. My Aussie speak. <laughs> um, now, in this game, we had a Nexus first here, 
for uh, our Jinnar player for SOS. Our sus SOS player. Is pretty sus, sus. actually, is Nexus that's first hit line, no scout. That's pretty sus. Yeah, but he does something we didn't. But over here on the left, we have a Stargate much faster with the tech build. And I actually think that the tech build is much better on this map because you get the much faster air control, well, then you just do whatever you want. So, But I mean, you are behind an economy at the same time. And unless that air control really does damage uh, to their economy, I mean, it's not going to be that worth it. I don't know. Why do you think he will do damage? I mean, we've seen a fair amount of PPs on this map, and it seems to be... The player who gets the Phoenixes out first wins the game. Do you think it'll be Phoenix? What do you think? It's, it's just it's because Phoenix. air control is so important on this map. If you get it, like, even if you stay behind for a while. Look, he's like, he's cancels here. He's like, wait a minute, that doesn't make Phoenixes. <laughs> and then exactly. he starts Look. a Stargate, see? <laughs> no, People no. are starting to figure it out, man. I picked Classic, all right? I picked Classic you with this. Everyone, everyone's looking to no, 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 Classic. I'm like, no, he knows he's better, he's better at Phoenixes, and he knows what he's doing. Now he's going to go to double Stargate, because that's how desperate he is, but that's pretty expensive. I don't know if that's desperate. I think that's just smart play, because he went uh, Nexus first, and now he's got the economy to do two Stargates. Well, right. I mean, it's not, it's not like it's desperate. Like he, It's like a bad choice. Like no. He's like looking for anything to do. But I mean, like he's going to be glad he did it I, when I, Phoenix has come over here, man. I feel like Classic has to drop down on the Stargate, actually. If, if he doesn't identify this, well, he's going to see it. He's going to see it, and he'll definitely do that for sure. Yeah. In fact, we might even see him drop two more Stargates down. And then uh, so as he sees that, and he drops two more. So no, 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 no. We're <laughs> just going to stay. We're going to stay around around at that many Stargates. I guess right? no, we'll go, see. You can't we'll go see. too crazy with the Stargates. Oh, is that a miss rally on the probes? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh. They're all... Okay, he noticed. He noticed. See, and there it is. is. Second Stargate. Second Stargate. Fleet Sorry. Beacon is how he wins up that on the other side of things. <laughs> Now Classic is going to make two Fleet Beacons. <laughs> He's going to get the Carrier Upgrade and the Range in the Phoenix. So, anyways, what's up with the Shrimp on the Barbie thing? That was purely a uh, kind of like an advertisement. It's nothing to do with the Stray at all. Like what's a Barbie in this case? Barbecue. Oh, okay. Barbecue. Do, they, do they say Barbie? Uh, yep. Yeah, we use some people use Barbie. So it wasn't just like an advertisement. No, well, like throw a shrimp. <laughs> like, well, the start is like we don't use shrimp, we use prawns. So throwing a shrimp on the Barbie was like ta uh, marketed to the U.S. Oh, okay, okay. By, so uh, not by. Um, was it like an Australian restaurant that did that, or what? Throw a shrimp on the Barbie? No, yeah. no, no, make that. Yeah, the, yeah. What? So which what company that made that? Uh, I'm pretty sure it was just like an ad for Australia or something. Like, come uh, on, man, throw a shrimp on the Barbie, and it's like from the guy that did Crocodile Dundee. I forget, uh, I forget his actor's name, but he's like, so that's not a knife. This is a knife. Yeah, yeah, right, right. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's purely a, no, that's, it's not legit. But Barbie, we, we, we can say Barbie. Do you say Barbie? Uh, maybe once upon a time I did, but I probably say barbecue now. You know, I've never used it in a long time. Well, um, well, I, I gotta say. You know, in this game, obviously the faster range upgrade coming out here for uh, yeah. for SOS is going to maybe come into play here because, well, I mean, if he engages with it, he can fight the, the Phoenixes if the Phoenixes are out on the map. But if he, like, fights with the Defender's Advantage of that Nexus cannon, things can, can change uh, quite rapidly. Yeah, I mean, like, if he can get, like, behind these Phoenix, he kills them all, essentially. Like, it's kind of like the uh, same kind of style as, like, Mutalist. Like... If you can catch them on the other wrong side of the map, you'll kill them. And look, he caught uh, them on the wrong side of the map. Yeah. So he can actually kill every single one of these. Yeah, you should be able to. He's got that range upgrade, but it doesn't matter because they're all linked here. Yeah, the ones at the back are doing some extra damage, but it's not going to be enough. Well, maybe it will. You know, it's really close here. Very, very close. Well, he's getting a bit greedy going for those pros, but with that, that range was upgrade, uh, gonna he was just too close, though, to really capitalize on that, uh, that range, uh, range advantage. And he's actually expanding towards... Um, he's actually expanding towards orange. I feel like that's actually not a bad idea. Like get your stack defense out there, get your cannons closer to your yeah, closer your to where you're so gonna... you can fight with the air against air right. closer to your base. Because you'll have that photon overcharge from and your Classic base as well. Classic does the same. So yeah, they're gonna yeah. be like ha shooting like photon overcharges over like the canyon or something at each other's. Nexus. You know what? Can that reach? I don't think it can quite nah, reach, but it's pretty can't. close. So close. It's, it's kind of funny. Third, third but actually, here for SOS. Even more serious question, can you hit the probes, though? No, I wouldn't think so, man. I think it'd just be out of it, just be out of range. But, okay. you know, Phoenix is going to be, like, trading, and, like, the cannons are going to be trading. It's going to be right. really weird. This game's getting stranger and stranger. Well, this is a maze, man. It's uh, life. It's like maze. a maze. I'm amazed. 
something like that. Uh, well, SOS is going to have the third star get here out faster, and he's going to get the lead in Phoenixes as well. And as long as he takes a good engagement here, SOS is going to be in a good place. Absolutely. Look at those stalkers shooting over the wall. <laughs> That's weird. That actually looks really <laughs> weird. <laughs> <laughs> that like doesn't make any sense in physics, it's but like just homing. That just has to be in range, you know, it doesn't matter what's in the way of it. I wonder what will happen if Roach is shot over that wall. <laughs> oh wow. How would that work? Yeah, that'd be strange. We gotta test this when we go home. And look, he puts he puts the foot on Oh, oh. and makes a mothership core. Okay. I don't is this sus or what? This is pretty sus, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, pretty absolutely. Yeah, you know, I actually really like it too, because he's gonna have like invisible Phoenix shooting his Wait, Phoenix. so it's not sus. Well, it's no, it's, well, I mean... It's kind of sus. It's I mean, kind of sus. Like, if I saw that, I'd, I might remark, if I were in Australia, that this was a bit sus. That's so sus. But at the same time, it's brilliant. I actually really like it. And I'm not so sure how well it's going to work out. Like, I let's think, wait and see. Well, it's gonna, he's going to have to uh, position it just right, so, like, obviously he doesn't get shot down in two seconds by the Phoenix. But he's going to want it, like, close enough to his Phoenix so, like, they're invisible and trading with the other Phoenix. Yeah, you know, he might just... Ooh. The thing is, if he keeps it over here, too, next to his base, and the Phoenixes can't target the invisible probes. Yeah, that's very true, too. Uh, you know, Mothership, I think the Mothership is actually designed to be in this game, not in like in Wings of Liberty. It's more of a defensive-type unit where you can cloak some of your units. Like we've seen in PvZ sometimes where you just like, cloak Sage your base. Station. Sage on Station right there in the middle. A lot of players get that Mothership core, or Mothership, rather. Yeah, yeah it's, it's uh, absolutely base. amazing for that kind of situation. I think this situation is going to win him the game right now. Do you think so? I think it's going to happen, but this cannon is actually almost finished, which could be a problem and damper the whole thing. Well, all right, this let's keep our eyes on the Phoenix count. Look at this micro. And this is so cool. Yeah, look at that. All right, now he's hiding underneath the mothership here. The mothership's kind of like got a time limit on it. I mean, it's going to die to the cannons and stuff. Yeah, he just gets, he has to link his lasers on it like once or twice more. Oh, uh, this is the moment. Oh, oh my God, he actually committed there. Wow. Oh. Got to oh, fight! Whoa, five hit points left. I'd say, wow. I'd say, take a different path with one of your Phenai. Just send it around to the top. <laughs> one of your Phenai. One of your Phenai, man. Is Phenai the word? Yeah, Phenai or Phoenixes both are acceptable. Oh wow! I um, never knew that. Not Phoenixes. <laughs> Don't say Phoenixes. <laughs> no, that's probably wrong. <laughs> That's, uh, that's actually a little sus. <laughs> that's pretty, that is definitely that's sus. A bit sus. Oh, he's got a four Phoenix lead here. I feel like this is when you begin to add some Void Rays. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Or, yeah, maybe even Well, carries. actually, no, not even really. Yeah, yeah, maybe care. Okay, gets that Mothership. But still, it's really hard to tell what the Phoenix number is for these two. Yeah, Just like, look at the top left. Yeah, I mean, for them engaging, though. You know, yeah, if, yeah, you're, yeah. if you're classic, you're not really sure... You have a feeling like he has a little bit more Phoenixes than you, but you're not absolutely sure. Now, he's getting his own mothership, uh, mind you, back at home, and he's about to have the plus one air. Can you check the upgrades on these Phenai? I gotta, I gotta know. Um, okay, so that's the first upgrade, just the armor. Now, the armor upgrade's gonna apply twice because Phoenixes fire two shots. Exactly. So that's pretty good. That's a that's a much better choice than getting the attack upgrade, I, I feel, in this case. It's kind of funny how similar it is to, like, Muta vs. Muta because you always get the Carapace, uh, Carapace first against yeah. Muta vs. Muta because they bounce. So it's kind of the same, sort of, uh, same sort of theory behind it. It's kind of cool. Yeah. I can relate to this kind of matchup. Um, well, I mean, I kind of just positioning are gonna... and, like, kind of just... Yeah. Keeping their Phoenix together. You oh, look at this. Tempest. I don't even think that's necessarily going to be good, but it could be. I I think, I think it's going to be good. I think if you, in with, this position. You, yeah, once you get the cannons up. Yeah. If you have cannons and, like, a mothership core, a uh, mothership, I mean, you can start, like, lobbing over the wall here. And, like, yeah. Actually, you know, if he if he can if he can keep the cannons close. But he hasn't uh, thought of the cannons yet, you know. He doesn't have any cannons. Yeah. Well, I mean, because if, if not, then that's going to be a lot of missing supply. He only wants to keep his Phoenixes stacked as much as possible to hide their number. Uh, that's what we see here from Classic. Little Phoenix. They used to call them uh, Viking Flowers back when uh, yeah. CT yeah. used to do that. They tried to patch that out, but it's still kind of there yeah. to a certain extent. Um, it's a Phoenix. What do we even call this? A Phoenix Clump? No, I don't like that. Oh. That's gross. <laughs> that's um, that's a... Uh, uh, what is it? It's like Phoenix Cluster. I like it. Cluster. Phoenix Cluster, yeah, that works. Alright, so... Feels a lot of he's, he's got a few Tempests in here. And once he gets rid of the detection, I mean, his Mothership will be a lot more effective. 
But, you know, if there is a Mothership out for Classic. He's just not using it. Uh, there it is. Okay, now he's the fighting here. And his Phoenix are hitting. Mothership core here. And he's, uh, using, he's using the Mothership and the Tempest to kind of tank the damage. Which is oh, really he wins funny. here because he kills the Mothership first. And, the, well, uh, no, the Tempest doing too much damage. Yeah, well. This is actually terrible for Classic. Oh, this is a... Oh, my God. Crazy fight. The Bears of Ange coming in here, though. And those Tempests not helping out too much. And he, remember, he has that armor upgrade. Classic has the it's, armor it's upgrade the on upgrade. the Phoenixes. It's really the upgrade here that's doing wonders for him. But look at this. Both players going down so low. Baiting that, that Tempest so much. Just hiding behind it, letting it take all the hits. Obviously, it takes less damage from the Phoenix. It's so hard to target, you know, properly. The Phoenix is going to target the, uh, the closest thing to them. Well, two more Tempests out here for SOS. And now they're shooting over the wall. Not targeting well, but if he gets them in the same position here, yeah. do a lot of Can damage. Can he do damage fast enough with those, though? Because it easily could just expand further across the map. How, what is the worker count? Like, he has 94 probes. That's a lot. That's, like, that That's too, too many, many probes, yeah. I think. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter at this moment in time. It's like, oh, I'm going to make these cans faster than Tempest can kill them. <laughs> yeah. That's too many Tempests, I think. Well, without a Mothership core, he can't use the Overcharge, which would be quite useful here. Uh, he's just spamming cannons here. Yeah, he's, he's abandoning the base. It's so funny. He's, he's, <laughs> they're expanding like next to each other on the bottom as well. Yeah, I mean, on the opposite sides of each other. Wow, such a strange game. It looks like he's gonna go for kind of like a counter attack, try and kill probes at the fourth base. But SOS's Phoenix are on the way, and they're gonna cut him off, and they could actually wipe out all these Phoenix if he has enough. Uh, yeah, we're, the Phoenix count here is still even. Remember that armor upgrade, though. Here we go! This could be it. He's keeping the Phoenix in that tight ball. He knows he has the upgrade advantage. He's going to fight it here. And a few more Phoenix is coming to join the battle as well. Not quite enough. SOS taking the advantage there. Even just with two extra Phoenixes in the fight, he's able to win. He has 1-1 one, one versus no upgrades. And uh-oh, Carrier on the production tab. Carrier has arrived. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good impression. Yeah, you got the voice for it, man. Well, that is um, what we like to call the... Yeah, uh, it's so weird that SOS just isn't upgrading at all. Plus two attack is, is being upgraded now for Classic. And, you know, this could definitely be the thing that wins in the game in the long run. Just simply more cost efficient. But I feel like SOS right now has the advantage. I have to say, uh, throughout this game, though, there's been a much more consistent bending shot uh, sort of skill out of class. He keeps doing this with his stalkers. He's done yeah, now a few times. Yeah, it's a good idea. I like it. Well, um, I mean, these two are just right next to each other here. I, That's so funny. They're not quite aware of that. I, the plus two is getting closer and closer here. He's just trying to buy time. The thing is, is these tempests are going to take forever to kill him. He's going to keep expanding over the map. Classic uh, is still making probes. Yeah. He's up to 102. Wow, that's actually way too much. He's, he's, uh, I think he's taken the approach here of, like, I'm just going to try to build a better bank than him, then eventually overwhelm him with Phoenixes, but, like, I don't think it's working like that. I don't think that's kind of how this I works. I mean, it could work. I don't know. Actually, like, once the, uh, the air army has been broken, you just sit, set your Phoenix on top of his starport, and what's he going to do? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say one word right now, and I want to see if you guys have any thoughts on it. Archon. Uh, I think that's probably one of the best things, except for Classic, because there's already Tempest out, and Archon going to get pretty shut down by Tempest. If he's able to get some Archons close, you know, even if he has, like, three of them. Uh, like, AoE damage, sort of the... Uh, yeah, but I mean, the thing is, like, he's going to have to run away with the Phoenixes, but then if he's... So the Tempests are going to be, slow. like... The Tempests are going to be, like, a bit exposed with he runs the Phoenixes away, but if he's got them on this high ground here, it's kind of hard to actually, uh, you know, go in and... And you can't, like, fight the Tempest with Archons, really, in this case. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It, it, I think it's kind of just... Because of the, the way the map is, he's just going to need kind of the same army of his own. He's going to need Tempest, he's going to need Phoenix, he's going to need upgrades. Well, we got an armor upgrade going on for uh, SOS. Still Finally, attack. yeah. Finally, he gets the Nexus. But Classic two, is one. killing his own probes, or he was before. How many probes does he have now? Can you check that one from just the ninety-seven? Level? Ninety-seven now. Okay. Still too much. He should probably get rid of like another thirty and kind of keep keep it a bit more tighter. Have like a better army to trade with. Is okay, T Templar or uh, Twilight Council on the way. 
And he's going into double cyber core upgrades here. I think he's playing the better style here when it comes to the upgrades. He's also got an obs out with his army. Um, you know, he's he's I guess that did he he didn't get the shields upgrade, did he? No, he didn't. No, so I think not that yet. Maybe, he maybe, might. maybe he he's he's uh, As like a going finishing to Archons, touch. but like SOS is getting the shield upgrade right yeah. now. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, this is just okay. He throws all the rest of his probes away here in the middle of the map. We just saw it. Yeah. Excellent. So even getting rid of the uh, the energy off the phoenixes of SOS as well. I mean, and we might see an engagement here. They they're posturing pretty close to each other. SOS is six Tempest, but the upgrade advantage definitely goes to Classic here. Oh, gets through to the Observer, and he's probably going to pull back because of that. I mean, having to target the Mothership first is uh, such a disadvantage. And, <laughs> oh, he, he gets SOS's Observer, now SOS has to back off. Oh, this is wow. just gonna how it's going to be for a little while here. Okay, he's going to just straight up engage here. And Mothership Core is still alive here. Now it goes down. And he's got that Observer there at the back. Fighting the Tempest here. That upgrade advantage coming into play a little bit. No, this is looking really good for SOS now. Has so many more. 12 more Phoenixes right now and two more Tempest. Even with the upgrade advantage, he's doing so well. And now he's going to start picking off Tempest here. The range on the Tempest is so, so long that one in the back for SOS has to get in the fight. But able to just go in and go out as SOS with those Phoenixes, picking off a bunch of units here. This game feels like a science experiment. Like, I feel like we really haven't even really touched on or explored the micro that we're seeing from SOS. Well, I, I feel like his Phoenix micro is a little bit better. He's making sure he gets the most most of his shots off, whereas the Classic is not quite getting that. Well, honestly, I think the most important thing is the fact that he baits out his Tempest, and, he, and the, uh, the Phoenix just uh, throwing so much on the Tempest before his Phoenix actually connect with uh, SOS's, and that's just making the trade so much easier. And he's going to wipe out every Phoenix here. Yep, that's going to be game. All he does now is camp the Stargates. Uh, I mean, what else is there to say? He's he's lost everything. Yeah, he's he's lost everything, and it's just a matter of camping. Sitting SOS sits up out of his chair. He's like, ah, yes, I got this. Mothership yeah, Core looking silly. Now. He can relax. And we're going to an ace match, guys. Yeah. How about that? Awesome. I like ace matches. Well, Whenever Classic has like a ton of bases on the map. Yeah, he actually, he might be trying, he's making Stargates a different base. Actually, he's making a Templar Archives at a different base. Yeah, he wants to get those Archons out, but, because yeah. uh, he killed all the Tempests, actually. Well, SOS identifying this is going to go for six Voidries at a time. Wow. All right, that's a good idea. And as long as SOS is meticulous with this, he can go to all the different bases and even tank cannon fire and just yeah. kill all the probes. I mean, he's got a lot of probes to kill, but uh, he's he got like, so much energy. He's like killed so many probes, but there's still so many more. Like I don't even know. Uh, you know, he's making like some cannons here. It's a lot of gas to make some archons, but like you said, that the border is coming out. I. Uh, I mean, yeah. I guess if he like goes like archon link stalker or something, like it'd be okay. It's gonna take a long time for him to get that ready. Yeah. But you know, Phoenixes can't lift buildings, so. Everything but buildings. Yeah. Chair collapses in the studio. This happens from time to time. I've actually heard that a lot during the cast. Yeah, we we uh, we were keeping track, but uh, we we lost we lost count. We lost count. Yeah, there was way too many. How many spines have been injured in this? Uh, in this tournament. Oh, uh, man, it's the worst when you fall on your butt, dude. Oh, man. I had this happen to me twice recently, and my leg was all messed up for a few weeks. Oh, that sucks, man. But I feel better now. Yeah, it well, was terrible they, they, for a while. they teach you in high school, then roughing your chair. If, if, it, if you pull back, you, know, you really had something. Same here, you know, you got to be careful with the chest and the furly gear. Yeah, the, you know, don't be injury. bouncing. I know it's really exciting when those phoenixes uh, yeah. blow up. When, you, when you're when watching, like, Widrays kill with Stargates and stuff. He's going Psy Storm here. I really don't think, that's like... This that's is like, what Zest tried to do against Sora. And Sora was just like, LOL. All right, it's so, like I mean, 15 Voidrays. This game isn't over yet because he might be able to come back compositionally here, but I just... uh he's down like nice and wide. Like, I'm not optimistic is. here. Charge is killed. There are a lot oh. Feedback's going of off. Archons. There's quite a lot of archons. Feedback in the Phoenix. He needs to split his void rays when he fights this. I think he actually yeah. might want to nip this on the bud. I don't know if you know what. I don't know if you guys use that in Australia. You know what I mean? I know. I know what it means. <laughs> okay. okay. I know, I, but we don't use that. Okay. We don't use that, man. Um, what, do, what would you guys use instead? Oh, gets that obs. Is that what they say? 
Pretty much, man. Just get that off. Then he gets the obs. Get that off. Nip mate. that in the bud. Get the obs. Get the obs, mate. Yeah, you guys say mate. Um, yeah, what's up with that? What do you call a first mate, actually? Uh, I don't know, man. I've never really, uh, I've never really talked to a sailor before or anything like that from Australia, so I, I can't, I can't say confidently. Because, uh, like, is that what you call your best man at a wedding, a first mate? <laughs> Uh, 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 no, we still call that a best man. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice try. Not even best mate, like best mate. You can call him a best mate if you want. I mean, no, we probably wouldn't use that either. We just call him best man. So when you're with your friends, what do you call your best friend, your best mate? Uh, I call him good mate or my good mate. My good mate, or I just say uh, best buddy or whatever. Yeah. So what's okay. the story on Mackers, anyways? Mackers? What's Mc that? McDonald's. Mackers. Yeah, Mackers. What? It was McDonald's. Mackers is McDonald's. An Australian, yeah. What? Yeah. Mackers. Is there a is that like Is us? that like what we see for Mickey D's? Yep, in that's pretty much Mickey D's, but Mackers. Yeah. For Aussies. Mackers. Mackers for Aussies. Well, I mean, he's got a lot of Archons. That's, like, that's my assessment man. here. He's got... Uh, the feedback a whole lot more. Oh, whoa. You know, I mean... Wow. I mean he's, he's working on it. I, I think, like, from a strategic perspective, this is not not incorrect by classic at all but it's just like it's interesting is this going to be enough to turn the tides of this game now let's not forget there are carriers three of them coming out at a time and if if he if he actually wipes the the void rays on the phoenixes or even some of the void rays he still has those stargate infrastructure because the phoenixes couldn't actually kill that so he still has his stargate so he could switch back into um, I mean, he could, he could really just go Tempest, right? I mean, he's so many Archons, he's obviously invested in pure Archon. If you go Tempest, you're just going to slowly whittle away all these Archons. Like, that was weird out of uh, Classic. He's whittling away his own Archons yeah, by going into all those cannons. Running into like, the mass cannons. Well, the thing is, what, we're start what he's starting to realize is this is becoming an elimination race. Because uh, the Void Rays are quite mobile. They can fly on this map, and they kill buildings faster then uh, you know a hot knife cuts through butter, kills buildings faster than um, a hot knife cuts through ice, man. Kills buildings faster <laughs> than a hot knife melts a brownie, dude. Whoa! Kills dude. buildings oh faster than a hot knife uh, is thrown into the sink to make it cold again. Um, <laughs> what? I don't know, but they kill buildings really fast, man. Yeah, they really, they really do kill them fast. I will give you that one, but uh. Yeah, looks like he's going to go straight for the main base, though. He's going to try and cut off the production of SOS there. I don't know how well, effective let's, let's this see is going to be. Let's see how carriers do against mass Archon. Like, well, the interceptors are not going to have a good time. Yeah, that's, that's my thought exactly here. Like, I mean, your uh, interceptors aren't going to last very long. All right, here we go. This is it, man. He starts a storm. The Void Rays are splitting it quite well here. Uh, and, yeah, it looks like it might be enough. I mean, he can kite. Yeah, he's just cutting I mean, archons with your void rays. This is something we don't see too often. Yeah, this is going to be it. And this is unfortunate for Classic. You know, if he was able to win this game, the SKT takes all of it, right? Like, well, it's yeah. something we haven't really talked about too much, but if Genera loses this game, then it's like, well, okay, I guess Master Archons beats my army and we lose. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, now he's dead. I mean, there's no way out of this one anymore. He doesn't have the the massive bank that he once had. He's like, really, he's like, is charge really going to be the answer here? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not feeling, <laughs> I'm not feeling charge against Void Ray Carrier. It's going to make too much of a difference. He doesn't have enough Zealot bank to like kill the buildings with them or or anything. Even if he did, it's still like it feels like it's just a lost cause. I mean, the air units are just going to wipe everything out anyway. Yeah, it's going to be a slow and painful death here for Classic. He's trying again to go into these 15-plus cannons. Yeah, he's kind of just base rolling himself. Yeah. He might kill him, but he's going to lose most of his army, so he's like not going to have anything to base trade. I don't even anymore. think this is a good idea. No, it's, it's kind of like... Should at least be targeting the pylon here, right? Like. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, there's a uh, recall. He recalls in for the lull, and it's all gone. That's it. Sia a Classic. Big sign. That's the GG shy. The, uh, there it is, GG. GG. There we go, GG. Well, it just goes to show you, man. Uh, actually, I don't know what it goes to show you. <laughs> well, <laughs> air, air toss on this map PvP is what you got to do. And yeah. There's many different ways to approach it, but SOS's approach was just 
slightly better. I think the micro is something that's like this weird enigma that we haven't really talked about because I feel like the Phoenix micro was just better for SOS and every engagement. Classic yeah. was like a little bit more shaky with his. Yeah, well, I, I feel like the Tempest more than anything else is really... Uh, yeah, that too, the tanking with the Tempest always, man. Brilliant, brilliant play. I mean, that's exactly what you needed. Yeah, that, that's, that's well said. The tanking there with the Tempest was...